and the Story Ninja is back again. Not forgetting my really little listeners. Uh, this story time will be dedicated to my primary school listeners. York Road Primary Kids, you know who you are. Levana Primary, you know who you are. And let's see, my old Porsche Primary friends. And while we'll see, we'll dedicate some more stories to more of you out there as the days pass by. So today's story is, let's just have a peek. The monkey with the bright blue bottom. So I'll ask you to remember this. Always important. Who is our author? Steve Smallman. Do you think you can remember that? And then a very special person who always will be illustrating these beautiful storybook pictures. And he goes by the name of Nick Sean. So let's see what the story is all about. I'm sure you're as curious as I am. Now a long, long time ago, when the world was quite new, a monkey sat watching the birds as they flew. Like feathery rainbows, they flashed through the air. How come they so pretty? He thought, it's not fair. All round him were creatures of every sort, some fat and some skinny, some tall and some short. But none of them purple or yellow or blue. They all looked as dull as, whoops, elephant poo. The monkey walked down to the stream with a sigh. <sighs> then a vivid blue kingfisher bird darted by. He followed it down to a gap in the rushes. And there was a paint box with one or two brushes. Doesn't that remind you that it could be a bit of art time soon? He snatched up the paint box as quick as a wink, tried painting some flowers, and then had a think. Somebody painted this kingfisher blue. I'm going to paint all the animals too. I want to see what happens right now. The animals always get out of the sun and go for a nap at a quarter to one. So when he was sure everybody was sleeping, the paint box and brushes, the monkey came creeping. <sighs> He painted some frogs and a couple of snakes and thought to himself, oh, what a difference it makes. Then feeling much bolder, the cheeky young fellow set to and painted a leopard bright yellow. Just then, the big cat gave a growl in his sleep. Roar! And monkey shot into the tree with a leap. Black paint dropped out with a splash from the box splash, splash, and fell on the leopard in little black spots. Oh my word, I'm getting a bit concerned for monkey. Oh, that's great, said the monkey. Then just for a laugh, he painted brown squares on a yellow giraffe. Black stripes on the zebra and white on the skunk, and both on the lemur, asleep in his bunk. See all those stripes, black and white? <laughs> Laughed the monkey, I'm having such fun. Then he spotted a bear, fast asleep in the sun. <laughs> he took out his brush, and then what a surprise. He painted white spectacles around the bear's eyes. Oh, that looks so funny, don't you think? Bear woke with a start and yelled, What did you do? Which woke up the rest of the animals too. The monkey was so scared, he, he practically fainted. Surrounded by all of the creatures he'd painted. Ooh. 
They all started yelling. Top Bear shouted, Hush! Then quietly picked up the paint box and brush. Painted the monkey's face, red, white and blue. And then for good luck, did his bottom end too. And still to this day, when the monkey goes by, the animals giggle. <laughs> they laugh till they cry. His bum, he's still blue as a bright summer sky. He looks like a clown. And now you know why. So, to an afternoon of bright colours and sunshine, I leave you with a story till tomorrow. Ciao, ciao.